Hola amigos, this is Swamvir and welcome to Learning Bots. In the previous videos, we have seen how to create a website. Today will be our last video in the series where we will make a git repository and we will deploy it on pythonanywhere.com. Without wasting any time, let's get started. As you can see, this is running on my local server. The very first step in deploying our project is to make a git repository. So let's dive into github.com. This is my github page. I will make a new repository here with the name sample school. I have my repository created. We can directly add our files using the upload function or we can use the github CLI or command line interface to upload our content. I'm going to use the command line interface. Let's dive into our editor. Our server is running. Let me close it before anything let us turn off the virtual environment here i am into my root directory i will take out all my requirements and put it in a requirements.txt file a fast way to copy all the requirements is pip phrase greater than requirements.txt by doing this it will copy all the requirements into this file here we can see our file is created with all the requirements now i will do git init it will initialize an empty repository which will be on our local machine here we can also add a file dot git ignore if we want any of the file to be removed from the git or should not go into the git here i have divided the screen so that we can see and we can type we have already done the git init now let's add the files i will do git add all dot means all okay we have added the files now let's check the status with git status we can see these files have added let us now commit them with this commit we are only committing it to our local repo so we can give any comment initial commit now it says git branch git branch minus m main after that we need to add a remote and this remote is basically our online repo this is added now we have to git push origin main origin main it will ask for username and password after putting the password it will automatically put all the data into our main branch and if we come here and refresh and if we click on view code here is our files with this we have completed our git initiation and making a repo the next step is to go to pythonanywhere.com and deploy our app so let's go to python anywhere this will be the login page or the home page of python anywhere we can make a free account on this and we can sign up here it will ask for create beginner account and we can put our details and it will be fairly easy to create all of them and this will be absolutely free with some features that can be added with the paid version let me show you how to create an account. It will not take some time. I will use the username learning bots. Let's click on I agree and register for it. This will be the dashboard we will get at the first login. Here we can have consoles, files we have, if we have notebooks or the web apps we have deployed. And here it says open web tab. So we can use this one or we can go from here. Here we don't have any web application. So let's add a new one. We can't use our domain name, custom domain name and Python anywhere will give us a default. Let's go next. We will use Django and the Python version. I'm using 3.7. I will call it my school. Let's go to next. It will take some time to start our application. Okay, so here we have our configuration for the new web app this will be our website or the site which python anywhere gave us we can see how much traffic we got the code behind our application virtual environment log files static files and security and if we want to disable or delete our application so let's try to go here so it automatically created a new environment for us or a new application django application for us so let's see how we can add our files the first step is to go to console we will open a bash console 
this will be linux based first of all we will make a virtual environment we will use this make virtual env python 3.7 and the environment name i'm using the environment name as teaching blog if i click enter so it will create our virtual environment for us once created it will activate the environment for us now let's make a clone of our repo i will use git clone and the repository link and let's press enter we are making a clone so that we can get the requirements file and the project files once done let's see if we have all the files here we can see readme my school and sample school our git is from sample school so let's change into sample school and check the directories here we have requirements so we will install all the requirement using pip install minus r requirements.txt it will take some time to install everything once everything is installed we will check for the django version just to confirm everything is going fine so i will say which django admin.py here we can see our django admin is in the virtual environment so we are good to go now we will do our simple things like making the migrations and creating a super user so let's do it python manage.py migrate then make migrations no changes de detected after this we will make a super user create super user let's say i call it admin it says username is already taken let me use learning bots email i'll give a dummy email at the rate email.com i will give a simple password okay so our super user is created once this is done we will go to our web console here i will go to virtual environment and i will try to add a path here to our virtual environment the path will look something like this so it will be basically start with home the username dot virtual environment or virtual envs and the virtual environment name we gave once we have added our virtual environment path we can start a console in our virtual environment and here it is showing a default folder so we will go to the main folder and we will see the files we have our files in sample school so let's get into sample school and let's see files okay so this is what we need now we need to get the working directory of this so we will use pwd here we have our working directory we will copy this we will go to our web console and into our code at the place of source code i will delete and put this one as my source code once we have given the source code directory then we need to edit our wsg configuration file if we click on it so it will give you something like this here we have to change this directory project home directory so it will be sample underscore school for us it will be same then i will add one thing os dot change directory we want django to change directory into our project home now in place of this we can use this but i will try to define it in a different way here i will put os dot environment dot set default and we are giving the settings as a default settings for django here we are giving teaching block dot settings why because on our project home this is sample school but if we go inside that there will be teaching block where our settings file will be placed let me explain you better if i show you using the github the main file is sample school inside which our manage.py file is there so that will be our source code but our settings.py file is inside teaching block here that's why we are using teaching block in the settings module we have used teaching block dot settings now we will use a couple of lines here i will use these lines to import django and use the setup once we have made necessary changes here let's save this and go back to our web console let's reload and check if it is running now it says invalid host so we will need to add this into our allowed host 
if we go back to our file section or we can directly access our code from here if you go to directory teaching blog settings.py in here if we keep our allowed host along with this let's turn debug is equal to false let's save this go to our web console reload our site and let's see if it is running here we can see the site is loading but the static and media files are not loading let us see how to solve that issue if we go back to our console under here there will be a section of static files in this section let's change the path for static and media so it will be under not my school but sample school static same with media it will be sample school slash media let's reload and try out now our files are loading the static and the media files but i want to point out one thing if we go to slash admin here we see we don't have any css or styling for this to tackle this we need to give static media directory for this also going back to static files section here i will write url for static admin it will be static slash admin and the directory will be something like this so it will be home learning boards virtual environment the name of virtual environment libraries python package site packages django contrib admin static and admin so we have used the static for admin also let's see if it is working let's go to admin and our css static for admin is also working and with this we have successfully deployed our website on a free service pythonanywhere.com though we are not able to use custom domain on it but it is very useful and helpful while we are learning to deploy with this we conclude that we have successfully created a website from scratch and we know how to deploy it before concluding the video i have an announcement to make we are ready with our own website where we will be providing tutorials courses learning stuff and a lot of other stuff we go with the name codepipe.com i will provide the link in the description we will be ready with the content very soon until then you can put your email and let us know how we can help you to keep everything in sync we will be renaming ourselves to codepipe on youtube also in the coming weeks so please keep watching us subscribe to our channel like our videos share it with your friends and do have a look at our website with this i conclude the video here but we will be meeting very soon with a new name but the same thing if you have not subscribed to the channel please do it as soon as possible don't forget to leave a like we will meet very soon this is somvir taking your leave adios